this lesson we are going to talk about ZO CRM reports. The reporting section will be the sensor that is making sure that you're on track to your goals. The main problem with small businesses is that they do not have goals. So they are just reactive to their emails, reactive to their problems, and they are not really working based on goals. So that's probably a big thing that you can take out of this session. Start creating goals. And while you're creating goals, the reporting section will be the sensor that is making sure that you are going to reach your goals. When I'm working with small business owners, the majority of them are asking for reports. But the problem is they don't know what they need in the reports, what type of information they like to report on. And the problem behind it is that they do, they do not have goals. And if, you're don't, if you don't have goals, you have no idea what type of report you're supposed to have. So it's like creating some kind of report just because I need to have reports. But you don't really know why you need reports. So today we are going to talk about reports. If you will go to the report section, you can see that you have this out-of-the-box functionality. You have lots of different reports on the left side. If you click, for example, on opportunity reports, you can see that you have different type of reporting that's coming out of the system. If you just click on one of them, for example, you can see the type of reports and the type of information. Another big problem is if you will, we will take, for example, the lead, leads by status, you can see that I am missing lots and lots of information in my report. And that's something that, that companies usually wake up after a year and they see that the reports are all messed up. And the problem is that the business is not collecting the right information that will eventually supposed to be using the reports. So one of the, the interesting ways to create a good CRM is from the beginning starting to build the CRM based on the future reports. And once you know what type of information you're supposed to report at the end of the game, you're starting to build those fields and the, the right mandatory fields in advance. If you will see here, for example, the lead status is empty and the report is lead by status, which means this entire report is garbage. You cannot even use it. If you will click and you will see what type of information this lead has, you can see that it's missing, let's say, the email, the lead status, and so on. So this type of information and this type of thinking need to be taken in consideration before you start the system. Let's go back to our reports. And let's assume that I like to create a report that is checking all the lead sources and maybe grouping the lead sources. I will need to go here to the create report. And first of all, the first screen will be that you will have the main module that you like to report on. And then you can have up to three additional modules that will work together with your lead system. So if I will click here on the select module, you can see that I can report on any module in my system, any of them. Now, if I click, for example, on leads, you can see here in the related modules, all the, all the modules that are connected to the leads. Let me just show you what it means. So I am right now on the leads record. You can see on the left side that I have multiple of different modules that are related to the leads. Those will be the same modules that will be in this list. Now, in my case, I don't really need to have lead source that is related to a different module, but in your case, maybe you do, and then you just need to select the modules that you like to get the information from. Okay, let's continue. On the bottom, you will see the report type. The report type will have three different reports, the tabular report, summary report, and matrix report. The tabular report will give you an Excel-like uh, information, 
and you can select what type of fields you like to have there and what kind of information you like to extract out of your report. The, the summary report will be almost the same. The only difference with the summary report is that you can have a group by. You can take, for example, a specific lead and report what type of tasks this specific lead had. The matrix report, I'm not going to talk about it, but bottom line, it's some kind of a grid uh, with your information. Let's start and go with the summary report because I like to have a report of multiple leads and their sources. Next, you can see that I have here the columns, groupings and totals. In the uh, available columns, I can select what type of information I like to have in my report. Let's assume that I like to have the company the city and let's say also uh, the first name now one thing that is interesting you can choose the first name last name or you can have the full name the full name will include the first name and last name so the bottom line is you are saving some space when you are choosing the full name so I prefer to go with the full name company city and of course we need the lead source the grouping will be the way that I like to group the information and in my case I like to group the information based on the lead source now the columns to total I don't have a, a reason to do it in my uh, report but you can sum average uh, lowest value and have largest value uh, in case that you need to, so you can work with this section. Next you have here two filters and this is where people are getting very confused. The top, the standard filters, it's not really standard filters. This is date filters and so should, should change it at some point. You can see that class created, creation date, first visit, full update, all those are date fields. So it's not really standard fields. On the bottom, the advanced filters, this is just filters. So if you click here, you can have, for example, some kind of uh, a criteria. So let's say that lead source is not empty because I don't want all the empty ones. And then you can click on continue and save, or you can click on run and just see the result. Let's just click on run and you can see that I had here four leads that add information. If I will click again on the edit and I will remove my filter, you can see that I will have many more leads. The only problem, they have no lead source. Now in my case, if there is no lead source, I don't want to see them. Okay, so this is my report. You can see that advertisement at one lead, employee referral at one lead, and so on. Now, on the top, you can see filters. Those will be the date filters, the ones that Zo call them standard. And then I can have here, for example, a, a criteria that when the lead was created. So if the lead was created, for example, uh, let's say last month and then if I apply, the report will come here with the right information. So the, the, the standard uh, uh, filters are able to give you some kind of uh, um, a date filter that you can filter the already filtered information. Because right now, as you can see here, we're filtering based on lead sources not empty. And the standard filters will give you another filter on this view okay now if you want to save the information you can select which folder you like to save you give it a name and then you save it so let's try to play with it so let's say the report name is um, report based 
on lead source. And the next thing that I want to do is to have this report scheduled. So basically every day, every morning, I want this report to be sent to me at 8 a.m. in the morning. If I will go here to the scheduled reports, I can click on new report scheduler. I can select the report. And that was lead, uh, where is it? Report based on lead source. I like to get it as a Excel. The starting date will be tomorrow morning. The report will be daily. Never stops, I always like to get it. And the receptions will be myself. Of course, it's not me, it's my son, but in this case, it's me. And if I want to have additional receptions that are outside of my company, they will be here. Their email addresses will be written here with comma separation. And when I'm ready, I will click on schedule and this report will come to me on a daily basis. Okay, so this is how you do that. Uh, one last thing that I want to show you regarding the report. You have multiple options at the top. One of them is to create some kind of a chart, and the chart is based on the lead sources in this case. And you can see that you can, you can have the report here. Of course, that you can have different type of, a, of a charts. You can also uh, add to dashboard. So let's say that you have an existing dashboard. You can select which dashboard you like to add the report to. And now you have, uh, you just extended your dashboard with this beautiful report. You can also edit the report as we did before multiple times. You can send this report by email to yourself, someone else from the company or external entity, or you can export to Excel, CSV or PDF. Okay, so that's it. That's the reporting section. I hope that now you understand uh, how important the reporting section is and you understand that without goals you have no chance to produce any type of reporting okay so thank you very much for watching this session if you like this session i will appreciate the thumbs up if you have any comments or questions shoot them in the comments below thank you very much for watching we'll see you in the next session mm -hmm.